we have the RV in tow on our way to Zion National Park. Zion, baby! What's going on in the car? I think somebody ate some Doritos. <laughs> this is the best part. Yeah, she got me back big time. I got to use BK brushes for the first time. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for Hello, hello! We have the RV in tow on our way to Zion National Park Zion, baby! We're listening to Death Leopard Yep, and Torsten's doing a great job driving us safely. Okay, Torsten. Yeah? What's going on on the road trip? What's going on in the car? I think somebody ate some Doritos. <laughs> Nacho cheese Doritos. That's a good thing about having Mav with us. He takes the fault for everything because yeah. <laughs> he can't he defend Maverick. himself verbally. So we're getting into what would you say? Our first couple spat. Our first couple love squabble. <laughs> Should we tell the story or no? It's pretty funny. You tell the story. <laughs> I don't know if I can. It's so embarrassing. I don't know why I'm embarrassed though. It's normal bodily function. We're on our first trip together, having a fantastic time in Disneyland. We're waiting in line, getting close to the elevator at, I want to say Hollywood Tower of Terror, but now it's called Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians of the Galaxy. Just having a great time, you know, cuddling on each other and stuff in line. And, you know, you're in line. You don't have options. You've been in line for a while. It's a commitment. And so it's not like I can excuse myself anywhere or even get any space. You're in line. So I think, okay, I think I can do this <laughs> without being noticed. I didn't know that it was going to smell. <laughs> so I fart. We're standing in line behind like a couple guys. Like a group of guys. I don't know how many. And Torsten says, keep it, you know, PG. Yeah, keep it PG. But just say it, PG. And I said, oh my gosh, those people in front of us, they busted some wind. They busted A. <laughs> And my, I, I, I want I want to point out here that I didn't even think <laughs> about saying that it was her. <laughs> I naturally thought, no, there's no way it was the guys in front of us. I, mean, I really thought it was those guys. He thought it was those guys, and then my body got all tense against him because he said it was them because he noticed. And, and it did smell, and I was just like, oh no, 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 no. It did smell, it tapped me on the shirt. Ah! Oh, but this is the best part. Yeah. She got me back, big time. We get to the front of, I'm just gonna call it Tower of Terror. It's what it will always be to me. We get to the front, and you know how they ask how many? How many are in your party? <laughs> and I say one. <laughs> Fun. So that was hilarious. We didn't ride together. <laughs> Needless to say, she was not sitting next to me. She was sitting behind me. <laughs> Which um, actually was really fun because uh -huh. I could like see you. Uh -huh. You know how you lift up and all, all, right? all I could do was just sit there and cry, tears streaming down my face. Six months later, <laughs> in a galaxy far, far away, <laughs> on a road trip. Where nobody thought something would happen. <laughs> it's <Aww. laughs> You know when you're first dating?
dating. It's like, oh, let's pretend like we're not human with no normal bodily functions. I just smell amazing 24 seven. <laughs> When you break the ice with that, it can be kind of jarring, especially when the man you're in love with thinks it's the guys in front of you because it's that bad. <laughs> so yeah, we do say party one all the time and it is pretty funny, but I still have a tinge of sensitive feelings about it. <laughs> someone and their body seizes up out of embarrassment just act as if you didn't notice anything just move on with the conversation but then you won't have the hilarious party of one inside joke or you can take Taylor Swift's advice and say I'm the problem <laughs> and then do party one road trip update we're towing a 30-foot trailer. It's probably about uh, 7,000 pounds, give or take. And, uh, well, we're, we're averaging right now 6.2 miles per gallon. That's 6.2 miles per gallon. If you want to go ahead and take that even a step further, that's about 50 cents a mile. Oh, I just got very real. But, let's put it this way. I'm not spending $200 a night to stay in a hotel. I'm taking it with me, so it works out the best. You know, it's about a five hour trip to where we're going. And uh, yeah, it's, it's really nice. It's all downhill. So for the <laughs> most part, we're, we're, we're going from about uh, 5,400 feet above sea level to about uh, 2,200 feet above sea level. So, you know, pretty good slope going down. Um, maybe by the time we get down there with the downhill, we may be up to 6.4. That's going to be my estimate, 6.4 miles to the gallon. And it's a 31-foot trailer? 31.4. Wow. Yeah. What's it like towing a 31.4-foot trailer? Uh, you know, it's really not that bad. The key is, is that I have a nice equalizer hitch, sway control, and I gotta, I gotta admit that we have a beautiful towing package on this truck. Oh yeah. And so it, it auto levels itself, gives you really nice stability as you're driving. So as long as you don't do over 80, I mean, I'm doing 75 now and I can feel like I'm towing something, but I'm not moving. You get up to the higher speeds and yeah, you can kind of feel it in the back. Or if you get a big diesel that passes you, you can feel it in the back. But it's actually really good. It's a very smooth, smooth ride. 75 is pretty amazing. We are doing pretty good. So Speed limit's 80. Speed limit's 80. So, you know, people are passing me doing 110. But, <laughs> hey, it's okay. See, 110. There it goes. Um, but, you know, it's it's not that bad. It's really not. We're... Uh, ETA is 5.55 p.m. We're going to be pushing some sunlight. So we're going to have fun. It's going to, it's it going to is going to be so much fun. We're going to be down there for almost a week. So. I cannot wait. Ooh, this is And this is just trip one. Wait, this is just trip one. We've probably got like a dozen more. I don't know. Are we, I don't know if we can top Zion though. Oh, oh, I accept that challenge and I raise you. You think we can top Zion in the RV? Oh yeah. Zion is our favorite. Zion is our favorite. But a new place could become our favorite. Yosemite. Have or, you been? No. Oh. Oregon Coast, maybe. Redwoods. Redwoods. Okay, okay. You have a good point. Zion, love it. It's Fortress of Solitude. 
It's yes. President's Day weekend, maybe a little bit busier, but pretty much by the time Monday rolls around, everybody's going to be heading out. We're going to be hanging. We have just started our trip, so hopefully it's nice and it's not cold, not super hot, and uh, yeah, we stay away from the river. It's a beautiful thing, and thank you for booking it, love. Ah, no problem. When did we book it? Oh, yes. I know when we booked it. New Year's Eve. Yes, we did book it on New Year's Eve. From an Eve. Italian restaurant in Henderson, Nevada. Oh, there we go. Yeah. I see those ones on the side. Okay. Proceed to the route. Okay. I Siri, think she wants you to proceed to the route. Siri, I'll proceed to the route right proceed here. I will show you where the route is. <laughs> okay? Do not make me get out of this car. <laughs> Don't make me come back there, Siri. Don't make me come back there, Siri. I thought I would talk a little bit about some of the makeup that I have on today. So this is the BK Beauty eyeshadow palette, which I really enjoyed. It's a softer palette. I love the look I came out with, though. These colors, I think they make my green eyes pop. And I think they would look good on a lot of people. <laughs> And I got to use BK brushes for the first time. I'm so grateful that I got to purchase them. I've been keeping an eye on them for a very, very long time and finally pulled the trigger. And they just are perfection in a makeup brush. You know that magical moment when you put on a pair of jeans and it's like, I didn't even realize that this is what would be the best pair of jeans I've ever put on but I want to wear these every day or some analogy like that sweatpants <laughs> whatever oh my gosh the brushes were so beautiful it was just a joy to use them so I don't know Lisa J but I do like to watch her videos and who knows if she would ever watch this but fantastic job I mean you can just tell what what a world-class job she does running her business so everything from the box it came in even the shipping box was beautiful the way it was packaged it just it almost had that feel you know when you order something from Etsy and you can just tell that they put their heart and soul into everything everything is so personal it's packaged so nicely there might even be a little thank you card or some something that makes it you know, a little extra special. I ordered the Angie Hot and Flashy, I think they're called, brushes, and there was a little insert on that, and just the care in the packaging was so beautiful. So, it was super fun to put my makeup on in the car today. I love putting on makeup in the car with the natural sunlight pouring in. Hopefully, you can hear me. <laughs> And yeah, I just wanted to give you an update that I really loved the brushes. I also tried lip liner and lipstick, and those were wonderful as well. I need to keep using them because it's not always the easiest to put products like that on in the car, but it was very enjoyable. Maverick got a party break and he got stickers in his paw. Torsten got him out though. Are you okay, Mav? I think he's good. <laughs> He's got a big puppy smile. It's like, I got a potty break, thank you. <laughs> and he loves RV trips. Like, his favorite place to be is one inch away from our face, so. Yeah, which is really easy to do in the RV. <laughs> he loves RV trips. <laughs> You'd think such a big dog might not like tight spaces. It's the opposite with Maverick. They are his favorite. He's the best. Maverick, you're such a good boy. Oh, that's such a good lay. Look at his little Swiss kiss. It's so cute. <laughs> Pulling into Zion. I stand by you when you're falling. When the river is calling.
thank you so much for being here today and watching this vlog. Next time you can look forward to seeing Zion with a fresh coat of snow. It is more beautiful than I can even begin to tell you. What about you? Do you have any trips coming up or anything generally that you're looking forward to? If you want to comment, you are more than welcome to. And just thanks for being here and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye!